Hey, this is Serge Ibaka. Before Serge Ibaka would make it to the NBA Finals with the Toronto Raptors in 2019, the first time since the organization's inception back in 1995. Before Serge would be selected for the NBA All-Defensive Team three times and become a two-time league leader in blocks, earning himself the name Serge Ibaka. Before Serge would be on his way to a million Instagram followers and host his own cooking show on YouTube with 129,000 subscribers, and before he would even make Kawhi Leonard smile. Who's your favorite celebrity crush? Since you're asking me. <laughs> Speaking of celebrity crushes, before Serge was secretly married to R&B singer Carrie Hilson, wait, what? I'm not a big fan of talking about my relationships in, in settings when it's about mu music or movies and things like that. Yeah, I bet you guys didn't see that one coming. Now, Serge Ibaka has an extremely mysterious past. In fact, many people don't know a single thing about his background besides his birthplace. Even his former teammate, Kevin Durant, well, he said in a 2011 interview, I don't really know his story. He has a lot of brothers and sisters. That's about it. I haven't asked him about it. I don't know what he went through as a child, whether it was good or bad. More questions about Serge's mysterious past began to arise when looking at R&B singer Carrie Hilson. Yeah, the knock you down singer. Now, according to online reports, Carrie Hilson was married to a man named Samuel Soba in 2002. Now, what does that have to do with Serge Ibaka? Well, if you Google Samuel Soba, the only picture that comes up is a picture of Serge Ibaka. Right, this is crazy. Does Serge Ibaka have a secret identity? Who is Samuel Soba? Are him and Serge the same person? And where did Serge come from? We'll answer a lot of these questions and more in this video, so stick around, it's gonna be a good one. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCrudden taking you through the life and career of Serge Ibaka prior to fame. Here for you of course and before they're famous. Now in honor of the NBA Finals heading to Toronto or being here, well, we thought we would bring you some more before they're famous episodes on some of Toronto's finest. Now we've recently covered the rich life of Kawhi and Steph Curry, so you can check those out. And uh, you gotta let us know who to document next in the comments down below! We also just did one on Toronto Superfan. And I might even just do one on the team. The city's going nuts. All right, let's get into this video. Um. Fuck! I'm supposed to ask you guys a question. What is the name of Carrie Hilson and Serge Ibaka's alleged secret son? We're gonna answer that as well. All right, now we get into the video. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! All right, so let's start by looking at all the information that we have for various sources and see what adds up and what parts don't. According to his NBA.com draft profile, Serge Ibaka was born on September 18th, 1989, and he clarified on Twitter that his full name is Serge Jonas Ibaka Gobola. I think that's how you pronounce it. Serge was born in Brazzaville, which is in the Republic of Congo, and he is the third youngest of 18 children. Yeah, I said 18 but he was also the tallest out of all his siblings and he came from an athletic family. Both his mother and his father were pro basketball players. His father, Desiree Ibaka, he played professionally in Africa for the Republic of Congo and with the Congolese national team, while his mother, Amandu Diongo, well, she played for the Democratic Republic of Congo. So naturally, well, Serge, he picked up a basketball from a very young age. Actually, he told Slam Magazine, Sorry guys, these names are really messing with me. After he's finished with his practice, he tried to show me how to shoot ball. That was how I learned basketball. When I was a kid, my dream was always to just play one game. I wanted to attempt to play professional basketball. My father's dream was for me to play professional basketball. But basketball became a form of escape for a young Serge after his mother's untimely passing when he was just eight years old. If that wasn't hard enough to deal with, well, his father was imprisoned during the Second Congo War when Serge was just a child. The war took the lives of over five million people, becoming the deadliest war since World War II. Now, Serge's father had been organizing an escape plan for his family so they could leave the war-torn country for a better life. The Ibaka's moved north with their grandmother to get away. And while the plan was put into place, Ibaka's father was unable to join the family in leaving and by the time they returned back home, well, he became a political prisoner. When the war ended, well, Serge's father was released and the two reunited. From there, he was able to focus all of his energy into basketball. He won MVP at the Junior Africa Championships. That was in 2006. Serge moved to France at the age of 17 where he played basketball for a second division team, but he moved to Spain shortly after where he taught himself Spanish. That is why Serge was able to answer the question at the NBA Finals press conference in three separate languages. 
unbelievable, man. I just, I don't have a word to say about it. Ah, bien sûr, on attendait ça parce que c'est comme ça que ils vont jouer contre nous. Are you sure that this is the first match that we made a lot of confidence? Also helps that he's in Toronto. Speaking of, we made a français. You know what I mean? Viens m'apporter le selfie. Viens. Unbeknownst to Serge when he left the Congo, well, his girlfriend at the time, she was pregnant. Now his girlfriend came forward with the news, but Serge's father, Desiree, pleaded with the girl to not put pressure on Serge. And, you know, to keep it a secret. Well, it was kind of shocking a little bit when I heard that the first time, and I was kind of mad with my dad too. But he would just try to do his job to protect me because I was young. Desiree took care of his granddaughter, Rani, and by the time she was five years old, well, he finally decided to tell Serge that he was a father. Now, soon after Serge, he met his daughter, Randy, for the first time, and he now spends time with her every summer when he visits the Congo. Kind of sweet. Brother Africa, for a baby, the baby is a little difficult, no? La verdad, a mí me gustaría vivir en España. Now, not only did he have to learn how to speak the new language, he also had to learn how to play organized basketball. He had never played the game with a shot clock and barely played five on five back home. It was in Spain that he started to play second division ball with a club that I won't even bother trying to pronounce the name of. Something like CB La Hospitalitatia. <laughs> now, what? He averaged 10.8 points and 8.2 rebounds, shooting an insane 55% from the floor. In 2008, he gained international notice after entering into multiple showcases, including the Nike Hoop Summit, and he won MVP at the Reebok Euro Camp that year. And uh, well, that's what gained him the attention of NBA scouts. Now, one of those scouts, they told Sports Illustrated at the time, he doesn't know how to play, but athletically, he's off the charts. There's no telling how good he can be. In the 2008 NBA draft, the Seattle Supersonics, they selected Serge Ibaka with the 24th pick, making him the first player from the Republic of Congo ever to be selected in the NBA draft. But the Sonics let Serge continue to play in Europe as he developed his skills. He signed a three-year deal with Rico Manresa from the ACB League in Spain, giving him the option to leave to the NBA after each season. Now, after his first season under the new contract, well, the Oklahoma City Thunder, they bought out his Spanish contract. Oklahoma City had taken over the Sonics organization and agreed to buy out the rest of Ibaka's contract in Spain. So that's good he spoke that language as well. What? Serge began his first NBA season for the Thunder that year and quickly made an impact. By the time his tenure with the Thunder had ended, well, he was one of the best defensive players in the league and led the entire NBA in blocks for two years straight. Okay, so that's Serge Ibaka's story. Now let's get into who Samuel Soba is and why the two are linked. Also, how Carrie Hilson, she comes into the mix. Oh, it's like a soap opera. Now first, if you Google Samuel Soba, pictures of Serge Ibaka come up. And it's not just a striking resemblance. Yeah, that's Serge. And if you Google Carrie Hilson's husband, well, the name that immediately pops up is Samuel Soba. But again, only pictures of Serge. He is even wearing a basketball jersey in his picture. So who the hell is this man? According to our good friends over at thefamouspeople.com, well, Samuel Soba was born in 1982, but Serge says he was born in 1989. Now this could be misinformation or it leaves open the possibility that Serge lied about his age so that he could play against younger competition. Or maybe because of the time and the place he grew up, well, he didn't even know his real age. That would make him 37 years old today instead of 29. Wow. <laughs> which confuses the hell out of me, but also makes it very impressive for what he's doing on the court. We're not done with this whole age fiasco because it matters. In 2002, Carrie Hilson and Samuel Soba, well, they were allegedly married and they apparently met in 2000 at an event or party. So if Serge and Soba are one and the same, then something's up. If Serge birth year is correct, then that would have meant that he was only 10 years old and when they met and 12 years old in 2002 at the time of their marriage. Or this birth year is actually later and he's much older than he claims to be. <sighs> I'm in the twilight zone. Mr. Ventura. There's someone on the way. Now another weird thing about the situation is that his birthplace is listed as Cuyahoga. That's Ohio. And uh, while the age could make sense, why would Serge just lie about his entire upbringing? Man, this guy definitely doesn't want it before they're famous. I don't want it. So who is responsible for making up Samuel Soba? Was it Carrie Hilson herself? 
Well, uh, we didn't just look at one site. If you Google the name and their connection, there are pages full of his biographies all saying the exact same thing. One biography, it even claims that he attended Yuba College to get his associate's degree and later moved to LA to become a teacher in history and economics at Lindhurst High School. My God, I've opened a can of worms here. Now the biggest difference between the two would be their height. Now Soba is listed by multiple sources at five foot nine, which for Serge is clearly not true as he's an NBA block leader. But the weirdest part is that in 2012, well, Carrie came out and said she was dating Serge publicly. We've seen you out and about with a handsome Serge Ibaka. What's the latest with you guys? <laughs> Next question, please. <laughs> So if they actually were two separate people, then she was cheating on her husband with a dude who looks identical. Now the most likely story here is that Samuel Soba doesn't exist. But the question remains as to why someone would make this whole thing up. So when we were researching this video, well the first person to call this out was a channel by the name of Andy Hoops, so shout out to him. But to think that there's not a single piece of evidence that shows that this Samuel Soba guy actually exists? I don't know, it, it, it's just weird. But the weirdest thing about the information online about the mysterious Mr. Soba is the fact that he is listed as having a child with Carrie Hilson. Now the child's name is Jaden, that's your you know answer for the question off the top. But there are no pictures of this child online, and Carrie, she's never publicly opened up about being married. But many public images are available of Soba and Hilson online. And uh, well, you know, if you're as confused as me, well, Hey, this is Serge Ibaka. <laughs> I honestly don't know what to believe. All we can do is hope that the Raptors take home the championship. All right, guys, we're wrapping up this video here. My name, of course, is Michael McCrudden. Thank you so much for tuning in. We have some other videos here on basketball players we've selected for you, so check those out. If you're new, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Go! Also helps that he's in Toronto, speaking a little bit of France. Francais. <laughs>